Now let's see this example. Design PDA for the land base L is equal to W, W power R such that W belongs to A plus B whole star. So let us see the strings here. Uh, let W is AB, then W power R will become BA. Let us take one more string. Let the string is ABA, then the reverse of the W, that is W power R, will become reverse of ABA is ABA only. ABA only. Already we have seen one example, that is WC W power R. So in this example, the length of the string is odd. Whereas W, W power R means the length of the string is even. If you take this example, what is the length of the string? Four characters. If you take this example, six characters. So let W means AB. Then C. What is W power R? Reverse of W. Reverse of AB is BA. So likewise, if you take ABA, C. Then what is the reverse of ABA? ABA only. So what is the length of the string? 5 characters. What is the length of this string? 7 characters. So this is an example for odd length string. Whereas this is an example for even length string. Okay. Odd length string is very very simple. Okay. We have to simply push all the symbols onto the stack until we get C. So before C all these characters will be pushed onto the stack. So first A. A will be pushed. Next we have B. B will be pushed. Next A. A will be pushed. Next C. Here C stands for center marker. So whenever we read C, then there is no need to perform any operation on the stack. Okay. Next, after C. So this is nothing but reverse of the string. So for every A, we have to pop the topmost A. For every B, we have to pop the topmost B. So here A and what is the topmost character A? So A will be popped. Next B, topmost character is B. It will be popped. Next A, a will be popped. So here center marker, center is specified. So it is very very easy to solve this problem. Whereas here the problem is center is not given. Uh, center is not given here. Okay. Uh, uh, so that is the problem here. Here it is impossible to find uh, the center of the string. So for that purpose we have to make uh, uh, two moves. Uh, so let us start the problem. Let us start the problem. So let us assume that initially we are at uh, uh, Q0 state. Let us draw, design the PDA. Let us assume that initially we are at Q0 state. Uh, let uh, the stack is empty. We know that stack contains a symbol called Z0. Uh, let the input symbol is A. If the input symbol is A and the stack is empty, then there is no problem. We can push A onto the stack. Okay. So what is the transition here? If the input symbol is A and the stack is empty, that means Z0 symbol then simply this A will be pushed onto the stack. So this Z0 will be replaced with A Z0. So A will be pushed onto the stack. Now the content of the stack will become A Z0. So likewise, likewise assumes that input symbol is B as well as stack is empty. Then also there is no problem. We can simply push B onto the stack. Why? Because here the stack is empty. So we can push that symbol. So what is the second situation? Input symbol is B as well as stack is empty. So now we can push this B onto the stack. So now the content of the stack will become BZ0. Okay. Now let us take one more scenario. Let stack topmost symbol is B and input symbol is A. Here let us see, let us observe these two problems. Here if we observe here, what is the end of W B and what is the stat starting character of W power R B? So, we can say that end of the first string, end of W as well as starting character of W power R are same. So, B, B. So, likewise, if you take this example also. So, what is W? A, B, A. What is W power R? A, B, A. So, end of the first string is A, whereas starting character of the W power R is A. So, if you take any example in even length palindrome, so the middle characters, that means uh, end of the first string as well as starting character of the starting character of the second string, that is reverse string, must be same. Okay. Uh, if you take this scenario, here what is the input symbol? Uh, here if you take this one, 
uh, if you take this scenario here what is the input symbol a what is tag stop for symbol b so then there is no problem we can say that middle of that string is not reached middle part is not reached when we can say that middle part is reached if both are same bb or a but here input symbol is a as well as tag stop for symbol is b so we can say that we can assure 100 percent that it is not the middle of the string. So we can push this A onto the stack. So let us do that. We will be at Q0 state only. So what is the input symbol A? And what is tag stop for symbol B? So then there is no problem. We can push this A onto the stack. So now the content of the stack will become AB. So likewise, let us take one more scenario. Let the input symbol is let the input symbol is B, whereas what is the next situation? Input symbol is B, stack stop more symbol is A. Let the input symbol is B, stack stop more symbol is A. So here also we can assure 100% that middle part of the string is not reached. Middle part of the string is not reached. So we can push that B onto the stack. So if the input symbol is B as well as stack stop more symbol is A, then we can push this B onto the stack. So now the content of the stack will become BA. Now let us take main scenario. Input symbol is A as well as stack stop more symbol is A. Then there is a possibility that there is a possibility that the center may come or the center has not come. So we will have two choices here. What is the first choice? Center has come. What is the second choice? center has not come. So let us take this example a a b b. So if we get two consecutives a here we have two consecutives a but we can't say that center part has come okay here this is the center part okay we have to push these three a's onto the stack and after this we have three b's so we need to pop the corresponding characters okay. So here we have two consecutives a two consecutive a's but we can't yeah here also we have a's only. So W means triple A. So W power R, R also means triple A. Okay. So here we have double A. 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 But we can't say center has come or center has not come. So in this example center has not come. Whereas if we take this example center has come. So we will have two situations now. So instead of deterministic PDA. Now we need to use non-deterministic PDA. So what is non-deterministic PDA? If we apply an input symbol on a state, there is a possibility that we may get two states. Okay. So let us see the first scenario. Let the input symbol is A and the stack stop more symbol is A. Let us assume that center has not come. If the center has not come, then there is no problem. We can push this A onto the stack. We can push this A into the stack. So let we have first A. So this A is pushed, pushed. And what is the next symbol? A. Next symbol is A. And stack stop more symbol is A. Here the center has not come. Okay. This is the center point. Center has not come here. So we can push this A into the stack. Okay. A, A. A, A. And the second scenario is. Let the input symbol is A. And stack stop more symbol is A. Let the input symbol is A. Stack stop more symbol is A. So let we have a string like this. So B A A B. B A A B. So now what will happen? So we can push this B A onto the stack. B A onto the stack. Now center has come. Center has come now. What is the next input symbol? A. Next input symbol is A. Whereas what is the stack stop more symbol? A. So now we can do the pop operation. We can perform the pop operation. So if the input symbol is A as well as stack stop more symbol is a then we can perform the pop operation so that is denoted by epsilon and then we need to change the state from q0 to q1 so this situation is called as non-deterministic pda so here what is the input symbol a but uh, after applying the input symbol we are yet after applying a on q0 we are yet q0 only but here after applying a on q0 we are moving to the Q1 state. So this is called as non-deterministic PDA. On applying same input symbol on the current state, 
we are moving to the two different states. So on applying A on Q0, we are staying at Q0 only, whereas on applying A on Q0, we are moving to the Q1 state. So likewise, we will have two different choices. So what is the next one? If the input symbol is B, stack stopo symbol is B. Let us assume that center has not come. Then we can push this B onto the stack. And what is the second scenario here? Let the input symbol is B, stack stopo symbol is B. Let us assume that center has come. If the center came, then what we have to do? So simply we need to perform the pop operation. So that is denoted by epsilon. So now we are at Q1 state. Let us take this example. Here BA is popped. So here Q1 specifies that center has come. Center has come. So after the center, what we have to do? Input symbol is A. Stack stopmost symbol is A. So simply we need to perform the pop operation. Next symbol, this A will be popped. Next we have B. Next here we have B. So for this B, we need to pop this B. Okay. So Q1 specifies that we are we are at center. So if the input symbol is A as well as stack stopmost symbol is A, then simply perform the pop operation. Likewise, input symbol is B, stack stopmost symbol is B, then simply perform the pop operation. Next, we know that epsilon denotes end of the string, end of the string. So let us assume that we reach the end of the string. So that is denoted by epsilon. Now the stack is empty. Now the stack is empty, Z not. If the stack is empty, then there is no need to make any modifications on the stack. So simply keep this Z0 as it is only. So now the, now the end of the string is reached as well as stack is empty. So we can go to the final state now. So let us assume that that final state is Q2. Q2 is the final state. So in this way we can design the PDA. Now let's check whether our PDA is correct or not. Let's check whether our PDA is correct or not. Okay. So let us assume that uh, we are at, uh, let us assume that the string is A, B, B, A is the string. A, B, B, A is the string. So Q0 is the current state. A, B, B, A is the string. And uh, Z0 is nothing but empty of the stack. Z0 means, uh, empty, uh, for space constraints, what I am doing is, I am arranging this portion. So on Q1, if the input symbol is epsilon, as well as stack, stop more symbol is Z0, then we will move to the Q, Q2 state and there is no need to change, uh, there is no need to change content of the stack. So let us write here, let us write here. So uh, here we have more space. So what is the current state? Q0. Let us assume that input string is ABBA. So here we have center. So before center we need to push AB, after center we need to do the popping. So ABBA, let initially stack, stack is empty, okay. Next here. Input symbol is A as well as stack is empty. Input symbol is A, stack is empty. So we can push that, that, that A onto the stack. So Q0. So here this A is, this A is readed. Okay. So what, this A is completely processed. So what is the remaining string? BBA. BBA. Next, we have to push this A onto the stack. So content of the stack will become AZ0. Next here we are at Q0 state only. Input symbol is B as well as stack stopmo symbol is A. So BA means, BA means on Q0, BA means simply we need to perform the push operation. So we will be at Q0 state only. So this B is processed. So the remaining input string is BA. Now we have to push this BA onto the stack. This BA onto the stack. Okay. Next, here the input symbol is B, whereas stack stopmo symbol is B. So BB means we will have two choices, either push or either pop. So we have to take two choices. So first one is NC. So NC, NC specifies that center has not come. Whereas second one is C. So C specifies that center has come. So if the center has not come, then we need to apply this transition. So simply push this B onto the stack. So we will be at Q0 only. So pushing means we will be at Q0 only. So this uh, B is processed. So remaining string is A. Now we need to push the B. Why? Because this is nothing but center has not come. Okay. So we need to push B. So the content of the stack will become BBAZ0. Whereas let us assume that center has come. If the center has come, then we need to perform the pop operation. Input symbol is B. Stack stopmo symbol is B. Then epsilon specifies that we are performing the pop operation. So that means here we have to change the state from Q0 to Q1. 
So now we will be at Q1 state. Here the operation on B is over. So the remaining string is A. Next we have to do the popping. So B will be popped. So what is the next string? What is the content of the stack now? After popping this B, we will get AZ0. Okay. Next input symbol is A as well as stack star four symbol is B. Input symbol is A, stack star four symbol is B. So there is no uh, on Q0. So directly we can perform the push operation. Directly we can perform the push operation. Now operation on epsilon is over. So that means entire string processing is over. So now end of the string is specified by epsilon. Epsilon. So now we have to push this A onto the stack. So A B B A Z naught. Now let us take this situation. A A A A. So A A means uh, there is a we have two choices. Center has not come. Center has come. So if the center has not come, then we need to perform the push operation. A A means push operation. So now we are at which state? Now we are at which state? Q1 state. I am sorry. Now we are at which state? Q1 state. So now we are not at Q0 state. Now we are at Q1 state. So Q1 state means it specifies that center has come. Center has come. Here the input symbol is A as well as stack stop more symbol is A. A A means we need to perform the pop operation. So now we will be it. So here we have only one choice. Here we have only one choice. One choice. Why? Because here the current state is Q1. So now we will be at Q1 only. The entire input string is processor epsilon. So A A means we have to perform the pop operation. So this A will be popped. So now the content of the stack will become Z0. Now let us see the situation. Q0 input symbol is epsilon. Stack stop more symbol is A. Epsilon A, epsilon A. So this situation, this transition doesn't exist here. So we can say that this is the wrong transition. This is the wrong move. Okay. Now let's see this one. So Q1 epsilon Z dot. So Q1 epsilon. Input symbol is epsilon and the stack is empty. So now we will be moved from Q1 to the Q2 state. We will move from Q1 to the Q2 state. And this entire input string is completely processed. Uh, so let us write uh, epsilon only and there is no need to change q0 so now final state is reached so this is the correct transition so this is the correct transition so so what is the correct transition so here a is pushed b is pushed so here a is pushed first a is pushed and then b is pushed so first a is pushed and then b b b is pushed now content of the stack is ba and here the center is reached so what we have to do we have to pop B. Uh, here B is popped as well as A is popped. Now the stack is empty. Okay. So this is about uh, design PDA for the language WW power R. So this is nothing but NPDA, non-deterministic non-deterministic push down automata. So for the same input symbol on the current state, we are moving to two different states. So A, if A is applied on Q0, then we will be at Q0 or we will move to the Q1 state.